What's up everybody? It's your boy JP back with another video and today I have the Honor 20 and um, man I gotta say I gotta say I'm quite impressed I'm quite impressed um, fantastic phone fantastic phone um, this phone was um, announced a couple months ago and uh, it took quite a while to get to market because of Huawei's debacle with the U.S. government. Um, and of course, you know, if you don't already know, Honor is a sub-brand of Huawei. Um, and um, I have actually been a fan of the Honor numeric series, I guess you'd say. Uh, they're numeric flagships, uh, you know, there's, you know, and by, by numeric, I mean just a number. There's no X, no 7X, 8X, just a straight number. You know, you had the Honor 8, you had the, uh, the Honor 9, the Honor 10, and then, and then now the Honor 20. Um, you also have the Honor 20 Pro, but unlike, uh, Huawei's, you know, uh, you know, pros and non-pros there's there's not really a lot of differences really between the honor 20 and honor 20 pro there's not a difference in screen size or uh or screen resolution um uh, uh there's not really a difference in any security feature uh you know they uh they both have um um uh, you know 2d facial scan they both have a side mounted fingerprint sensor uh um, they both have the uh, the hole punch design, which uh, which I do prefer over the um, over the the teardrop notch, um, and uh, you know uh, they 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 even both have a a, thir uh, a thirty two megapixel uh, selfie cam and uh, a quad camera setup on the back. Um. I have it in the clear TPU that came with it, but it is a gorgeous phone. But uh, you know, it's the camera, the camera array right there. Um, the main sensor is, of course, that very famous Sony flagship, the uh, the IMX 586, 48 megapixel that every flagship seems to be using this year. Uh, it has the holographic design. Uh, let's see if I can get it out of the case here. I meant to leave it out of the case. Usually when I do these, I have it out of the case. But uh, we'll put that case right there. I'm doing this in my car too, so I'm wanting to protect it a little bit here. But um, um, it's, a, it's a beautiful phone. Beautiful phone, man. It, it's You know, it seems like every single video I've posted lately, these phones get more and more and more beautiful. Seriously, seriously. I mean, every video I do, that phone is more gorgeous than the last one. And yes, the Honor 20, you guessed it. As repetitive as this has been, this is the most gorgeous phone I have ever laid eyes on. This holographic design is beautiful. I mean, I absolutely love it. This is the Sapphire Blue, obviously. And uh, I mean, it feels fantastic in the hands. Man, it feels fantastic. Ladies, whoo, you know the procedure. Man. Mmm. Dang, it actually smells like candy for some... Ooh, wait a minute. The smell test. Mmm. Woo, okay. I won't get into that. That, that, that. that does actually have a smell to it for some reason. Yeah. Woo, man. Flossy Carter needs to hurry up and get this device and uh, and, and, and do his, uh, his much much better reviews because uh i would really like to to see his sniff test because um i think it has a smell to it but anyways <laughs> and it's a pleasant one but anyways um i am doing this in my car i normally do them uh in the house over the carpet but uh you know i'm in uh i'm in my car my uh, my 2018 charger but uh you know i just you know just got a few months ago i don't really talk about my cars a whole lot but um but uh, I am a I am a car fanatic and a motorcycle fanatic. Uh, I just you know just keep my channel purely about these phones. Um, but um, um, you may not may not know this, but um, close friends of mine do. 
I am a, I am actually a big Honor fan. I flip flop between Honor and One Plus every year as to who offers the better value. Um, I don't know what it was about the Honor Eight, even though it had a smaller screen. I absolutely loved that phone, and I flip flopped between that and the Axon Seven uh, that year. I flip flopped between those two phones like crazy. I couldn't. I never made up my mind which one I liked more. Um, that's when I had a, a, a love for uh, for for Huawei. Uh, uh, their their Karen. Their more specifically their Karen chipsets. I was already a Huawei fan because of the uh, because of the Nexus Six P. But of course that had a Snapdragon, not 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 a high silicon chip. But um, speaking of which. It's in a different language here, but here are some of the specs that you can kind of read off here. 7 nanometer Kirin 980. Um, and let me tell you, this is the best experience I've had with the Kirin 980. Just like the Snapdragon 855, I've had quite a few devices with, this, with the Kirin 980. I had the uh, the Mate 20. Um, I had the, uh, the Huawei P30. And now I got the Honor 20 here. Um... Um, but, um, but, um, this one, this one, uh, features GPU Turbo 3.0. Um, the, uh, the Huawei Mate 20 and the, uh, and the, and the P30 I had, uh, featured GPU Turbo 2.0. This is 3.0. And, uh, there's already several videos out on YouTube um, specifically reviewing this as a gaming phone and uh, Huawei at some kind of gaming expo yesterday even introduced a control pad for this and the Honor 20 Pro even though it wasn't originally you know advertised so to speak as a gaming phone of course Huawei actually did go to many mobile developers though and got got optimization help with the uh, with the Honor View 20, uh, which came out just after the Mate 20, and it also had the Kirin 980 with GPU Turbo 2.0. That's one device I didn't get. I meant to, but I never did. But um, the Honor 20 here is hot. It's a 6.3 inch screen, uh, 1080p. Um, I have to say it's 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 the most beautiful IPS pan I've ever seen. Uh, it, it's 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 better than the uh, than the Asus Zenfone Six um, in screen quality. It really is. It, it's it's gorgeous. Um, of course, you know I, I I like the flip camera more than the hole punch, but the hole punch would definitely be my second choice. Um, and 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 really, this this actually does kind of have an advantage. I, I actually found a disadvantage with the flip camera on the Zenfone Six, and it kind of makes me prefer the elevated selfies like what the OnePlus 7 Pro has because I find that when I run and I have the uh, the Zenfone 6 in my pocket the flip camera module rattles but it's not loose it just rattles it shakes it just kind of goes back and forth back and forth it's, it's really weird uh, it's super annoying super annoying um, and I don't get annoyed easily but uh, but we'll save that for another conversation um, I um, I just got this device a couple of hours ago. I, I don't even have it fully set up, but I have kind of took it through its few, you know, through a few paces, and uh, it, it's it's amazing. Um, uh, it does have the Play Store pre-installed, obviously, as you can see. Um, and uh, it fully works on on AT and T. Um, it works quite well on T-Mobile, but it is missing Band 71, as most international phones do, you know, are missing. Uh, but it, but it, but it does work on there with Band 4, um, and uh, and and and, and uh, Band 2, and of course AT&T uses 2 and 5, um, um, as well as 12 and 17, which uh, which of course you know T-Mobile uses 12 and T-Mobile or and AT&T uses 17. Um, but um, um, but yeah, um, this is everything here in the box here. Um, your uh, your your twenty two point five watt supercharge. Um, it does come with some uh, Type C headphones. Your USB Type C cable. 
um, silicone case, um, you know, sim ejector tool with your books inside of there, you know, nothing, nothing special. We don't have to go through that. Your case is inside of that little thing there too. Um, the little thing that peels off the screen, the little protector thing. It, it does have a screen protector on it though, as well. Um, but, um, give you a little close up here. The phone is extremely fluid. And, uh, from what I've heard, from what I've heard, oh yeah, it's definitely a fingerprint magnet too. From what I've heard, uh, as far as gaming goes, the Kirin 980, um, with the, uh, the Mali G76 MP10 and, um, GPU Turbo 3.0, from what I have read and heard and seen, it is just as good at gaming as the Snapdragon 855 Plus that Qualcomm just introduced um, a month or two ago. Um, that'll be found in phones like the Aces Rock Phone 2. Um, um, more than likely, I would hope anyways, the OnePlus 7T Pro. Uh, well, and just the OnePlus 7T as well, which you know may or may not come here, but I'm sure they'll release one nonetheless. Um, you know, for overseas markets like the regular seven. Um, but, um, like I said, I'm in my car, so I don't have a whole ton of room here to, to do these videos like I normally do. So this will be a little bit shorter than they typically are. Um, you know, but, um, you know, you know, I, I just, you know, I, a lot of times I end up rambling anyways, but this does have, um, this actually doesn't have, uh, Huawei's typical, um, uh, EMUI. It actually has Honor's new Magic UI, which they uh, introduced with the Magic a couple years ago, and then they brought, and then when they when they did the Magic Two uh, with the sliding mechanism um, late last year, uh, it 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 uh, you know of course it of course uh, brought a a a uh, you know because the because the original Magic you know was two years old going on three now because the magic two came out at the end of last year uh december um but um but at that point the uh, the magic ui was 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 uh, exclusive just to the magic the honor magics the rest of uh, the honor lineup had the emui like huawei's phones but they started bringing the magic ui to all of their phones uh because the view 20 i think has magic ui uh, the Honor 20 here has Magic UI. It's not too different from EMUI, but I do find it to I do find it to be a little. I have found a few differences, and um, they are differences for the better, honestly. But uh, as heavy of a skin as EMUI has always been, it's really, and I've said this in other videos. I've I, it's actually my favorite skin as far as heavy skins go. If we're talking about you know the LG UX. Uh, you know, Samsung's TouchWiz, HTC Sense, you know. Now, of course, of course, you know, if we're talking about more stockish interfaces like OnePlus, you know, or Android One, you know, or the Pixel experience, then, you know, of course, you know, that's that's something different. But as far as heavy skins, I always liked EMUI, uh, and I actually, actually like uh, Magic UI even more. And this is on top of uh, Android Pie 9.0. Um... But um, it has the quad camera setup, like I said. The major difference that I know is in that sensor. Um, right to my to my knowledge, it's that sensor right there, right there in the middle. That's where a lot of the difference comes in at between the Honor 20 and Honor 20 Pro. The other difference is that the Honor 20 Pro also has a uh, it has double the storage. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM versus 6 that this has. Again, double the storage, so it's 256 versus the 128 that this has. Neither have expansion. They are dual nano SIM slots. Um, and to my knowledge, again, that camera is where the difference is. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Uh, but again, they're both quad camera setups. You know, the regular P30 was just a triple setup while the Pro had the quad setup. Both, of, both the Honor 20 and Pro have the quad setup. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, the batteries are a little different. 
This has, I think, a 3750 milliamp or a 3850 milliamp. And the Pro has a 4000 milliamp. So not a huge difference, but a difference nonetheless. Um, but yeah, man, I hope y'all like this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I, uh, I've been enjoying this phone so far. I'm a big Honor fan. I really am. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm glad I was able to finally get this. I got it off of Amazon. It, ju it just came out on Amazon. Um, I got it for $427. It's not hard to find. Um, and that was, that was you know, that was tax taxes, fees, shipping, two days, you know. Um, I couldn't select one day. Uh, but, um, but yeah, um, I mean, you can't beat it for the price. I mean, this, this is a flagship. I mean, this is a flagship, and uh, I mean, you know, and it's even cheaper than the regular OnePlus 7, which you can regularly find on Amazon, you know, for cheap. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling this phone. I mean, it's awesome. It really is. I mean, it, this is, this is, this is, this is really a better value uh, this, this time around than any OnePlus device as, as far as a affordable flagship. And a GPU 3.0 is a game changer. So uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Got any questions? Hit me up. Peace.